I'm sorry, but the Rolling Stones are so old that their latest concert tour is being sponsored by a company that sells retirement annuities. <laughs> That's right, retirement annuities. I think there's a subtle message in there. Remember, this is the tour which had to get cancelled because 75-year-old frontman Mick Jagger had to check in for heart surgery. He had one of his valves replaced. Well, I'm getting to thinking, if this is the target market that advertisers are trying to reach, maybe their next tour to South Africa, which would of course be massively successful, could be sponsored by Avbob. <laughs> Funeral insurance, you know, uh, death benefits. Their target audience here in this country, it would be perfect. Perfect. The Rolling Stones, brought to you by Avbob. Ooh, I see Nike, the company is at it again. Listen, I'm a huge fan of Nike. Huge fan. Investor, run with the kit, love their advertising approach. In the last two weeks, they first of all pulled a set of shoes from China because, I don't know, something about the design might have offended somebody in the Chinese government or something. They pulled them. Then, in America, ahead of the 4th of July weekend, they pulled a pair of sneakers that had something called a Betsy Ross flag on the back of the heel. Now, I don't know, not my country, I don't even know how this stuff works, but the Betsy Ross flag has only got 13 stars in it, and it's something about the states that were in the first 13, and some of them were pro-slavery uh, pro at the time, or some such thing. Anyway, they pulled it. The blunder here is not that they pulled the shoe. The blunder is that right-wing conservatives in America are all getting triggered by this. Ah, they say Nike is share price. It's going to go down, they better watch out, we're going to burn our Nike shoes. There's a Republican in Arizona who says he's going to lift or pull away or drop any tax incentives that Nike might have had to build plants in Arizona. Listen, Nike has this all figured out. This is how the marketing works. A, you're getting all that free marketing, everyone's talking about the company. And B, who buys sneakers? It's young millennials who are left-wing by nature. And there is an absolute little upside story to trigger it all. The shoes, the Betsy Ross shoes, which were pulled from stores, limited edition, only a few now available, selling for hundreds and hundreds of times more value on these second-hand sneaker investment sites. <laughs> you know what? I like this EFF journalist scratching in the dumpster story. I know it's got some people a little bit exercised, but... The Daily Maverick waited until this EFF leadership revolutionary delegation, which had been staying in an expensive unit in the Camps Bay area for the State of the Nation address. They waited till they left and their staff brought all the garbage bags outside. Then they started scruffling through it. What did they find is bottles upon bottles upon bottles of expensive licorice. Liquor, that is, you know, I mean, high-end bottles of whiskey, all of the finest champagne, etc., etc. And in addition, of course, a couple of slips from H&M, which is the clothing store which the Red Berets trashed for some reason that I can't even remember. H&M. <laughs> so why is this story amusing? It's because it shows those guys up for the champagne socialists that they are. There you go. You know, the next day they were off to Parliament in their red overalls. But as far as their own personal habits and consumption is concerned, only the finest. It reads like a chapter out of Animal Farm. <laughs> Finally, in news that will really seriously depress that EFF high command, a Jim Beam whiskey factory in America, Kentucky, is on fire and destroyed 45,000 barrels of the finest bourbon. Wow. Ish. That's unfortunate. Well, apparently, I don't know how it happened, but the fire brigade, when they get there, couldn't even put the fire out because the barrels by then had been destroyed and they didn't want the combination of fire engine water and whiskey to end up in the local river so they basically just sat there presumably having a draft or two <laughs> while the entire 45,000 barrels went up in smoke mm. sure